Hey everyone, it's John and today we're going to continue on the BGP video series. So if you've been following the previous videos, you will remember we've discussed weight, local preference, AS path and origin. And in this video we're going to discuss the multi-exit discriminator. Now despite its kind of abstract sounding name, the multi-exit discriminator is actually pretty descriptive of its function. Now what I will say first is that the multi-exit discriminator is also known as MED and the metric. So these terms are often used interchangeably, so just be aware of that. So first things first, if you remember from our previous videos, the BGP path attributes gives us quite a lot of control over our outbound path decision making. So if we're trying to, let's just say we are AS5, AS5 here, this is our enterprise and we've got this wee autonomous system number here. And let's say we're trying to route to 6.6.6.6 and we've got these three exit paths we can quite easily control which outbound direction we're going to go by setting the way or the local preference or the AS path or whatever. So if you remember though, the weight was local to the router, so it would not have any effect on these routers here and the local preference was local to the autonomous system, so it would not have any effect on these routers here because these are in different autonomous systems. So how could you actually influence inbound path decisions because your outbound would be fine because they're made by this router here or within here but to get these routers here to make those decisions you ha actually had to have these transitive attributes which would affect these routers decisions. Now if you remember from a previous video we discussed we could do AS path prepending. So let's say that we wanted to influence such that all traffic would come through um, this path here, this uh, direction here from this router here okay so what we could do was between this link here we could prepend the path to be a we could prepend it to be 33 33 33 and the as path between here to be 33 33 33 basically extending this number by a few times so from the point of view of this router here the path from this way the top path would look like as 100 as 33 33, 33 and 5 because it was prepended. Same again from this point of view here, the middle route. It would go AS100, AS33, 33, 33, 5 and from the bottom route which would be left at the default would be 155, 5. So because it's got the lower path, it would now affect it such that this route here would be desirable to enter into the, the network. Now if you noticed, by doing AS path prepending, we've actually affected the decision making on this autonomous system here. Now the difference, and this is quite crucial, between the multi-exit discriminator and the AS path is that unlike AS path, the MED only has effect within the neighbouring autonomous system which is the peer AS. So if this is our enterprise AS here and we're trying to influence inbound path decisions, only our peer AS's we can influence with MED. So we can influence this AS and we can influence this AS but not this one. However, and this is another crucial point, you actually are not going to be comparing MED between different autonomous system numbers. So let's just say the preferred path was through here, okay? And we tried to make the met we made the metric higher here and lower here and even lower here it would actually have no effect on the path decision making because the med between AS's are not compared. You can't say oh, this has got a higher this has got a higher med than these two. Because they're on different AS's, BGP by default will not compare them. Okay? So that's the default behaviour and it can be changed and we will change it later on. But just for the point of view of this, remember that by default different autonomous system numbers are not compared between peer uh, AS's. Now, from this point of view, if we're trying to influence say, the path decision of this router here, which is within a peer AS, let's say the default uh, route was going to go this way and this way because the preferred path was this one. If we change the med, the med to be 25 here and 50 here, the preferred path would now be coming in this way. Okay, that would mean from the point of view of this router here, 
because it's within the same AS, it would now prefer this path here, here, rather than the initial here and here, because it's within here. But remember, this router here would have no, the med would have no effect on here. It would not just suddenly go, okay, we're now going to prefer this central route. It might still prefer this route, and it might still prefer this route. Now, if it prefers the bottom route, what it's going to do is it would go here, and then here still, so the med would have absolutely zero impact. Now, from the point of view here, let's say it preferred this path, but the med was set to be lower here. Now, this is quite confusing, but try to follow it. It would still pick this path because the med is having no effect within this AS. However, once we enter the peer AS, the preferred path is actually down through here and here. So, if the med was set lower here, and higher here, if the natural path from this point of view of this router was this one, it would still stay the same. It would not go here. It would go here first, but once the packet enters here, it's not going to go here. It's going to go in here and follow the med once it enters the, the, the peer AS. And remember, if the initial path was here and the med was set to be lower here, it would have absolutely no effect because it's going to go here and the med is going to be, have zero effect here and it will not be compared at all between here and there's no root here anyway so it would still be here. So med acts like a kind of watered down weakened AS path in many ways because AS path, if you set the AS path prepend to prefer this middle path then this choice of this router will go the middle path. If you set the AS path to be up here, this router's path will be chosen to be here. If you choose the AS path to be pre uh, preferred here, it will prefer this path here. But if you set the med here, it might not necessarily change here or here or here. It might still go this way, it might still go this way, it might still go this way. However, once you enter the peer AS, now the effects happen, okay? So that's the, the, the real difference between the AS path and the med. So what I'm going to do is just try and demonstrate that now. So like I say, that might be confusing, I understand it, because when I first was reading about it, the path decisions were not the way I expected it to be, and this is why I've laid out this topology, because MED, in many examples, seems pretty straightforward, but it's got this kind of wonky behaviour, and this is why I've got this particular topology to demonstrate that kind of wonky behaviour. So let's just go and do that. So, if we do a show IP BGP and see the path we've got here. Okay, so our preferred path to this router here, the 1.1.1.1, the best path is via the top link up here, which is 33.100.2.1, or rather it's 2.1, so it's going to be the middle path rather. So let's just check that. And we're going to trace to... Okay, so the path we're actually taking is going 33, 100, 2, 1, which is going through here, and 53, so it's going through the actual central path this time, okay? So the preferred path is going through the middle. So what I'm going to do here is, let's actually, Let's try to influence that so that it goes the bottom path just now, just on gig zero zero two one, and we'll shut them down just now. Clear IP BGP soft IP BGP. Okay, so now the best path, obviously it's only path, is to the 55, so what I'll do is I'll bring them back up. No shot. Give that a wee second. So what I'm trying to do here is influence the path to be naturally without doing any kind of um, local preference or weight because that will actually outweigh the med. I don't want to do that. I'm trying to do it via a tiebreaker and the tiebreaker will be the longest upstanding EBGP path. 
So I wanted to naturally just prefer this path here and then do some uh, traffic engineering so you can see how the med actually affects it. Um, okay, so now we've got our free networks up and our preferred path is still the one here because this is the, the oldest path. So if we trace to 1.1.1.1 and which do the same thing, we see we're going to go through the bottom path this time. So we're actually transiting through AS55 this time. Okay, so the preferred path naturally is from this point of view is down here and here now. Now let's see from this route over this it says it's going to do show IP BGP and its best path is 202.001 so it's preferring the top path okay so this router prefers this way this way but this router prefers this way and this way so what I'm going to do is make the med lower here so it's make sorry make the med lower outbound from router 2 to router 4 I'm going to set the med to be 25 and the med to be 50 here so it's going to prefer this path and then suddenly this router here is going to prefer this path the lower path rather than the top path okay so let's do that now but crucially once I do that you'll notice it will have no effect on this router here okay so let's go and do that so if we go in and we make a do an IP prefix list and we'll just call it list and we're going to permit the all the ones and we'll do a root map and call this root map just we'll call it R3 because it's going to R3 and we're going to have the sequence number of 10 and we're going to match the IP address that's in the prefix list called list and we're going to set the metric to be uh, 50 for that one and we're going to do root map r3 permit 20 exit just to stop any filtering from happening and do a root map r4 which is going to be the central link uh, permit 10 and we're going to match the IP address in the prefix list called list again the same one all the ones and we're going to set the metric to be 25 this time and do root map r4 Four, permit 20 to prevent any filtering and we're going to do a final one here going to a uh, router 6 so root map r6 permit 10 match the IP address of prefix list called the list all the ones set the metric to be the absolute highest out of the three so set the metric to be 100 and exit and do root map uh, r six permit 20 to avoid filtering and we're going to go to router bgp5 and going to attach these to our neighbors so the first thing we're going to do is attach it to this interface up here 5331.2 let's do neighbor 5331.2 root map and it's going to be r3 is the name of the root map and outbound remember the next one is 5332.2 up oh, 2.2 root map and it's R4 out and the last one is down here which is going to be neighbor 5 55 1.2 root map and it's R6 out and we do a clear oh, IP BGP soft and if we have a look we should ha actually have a change and let's do a clear IP BGP soft show IP BGP okay so the best path to all the ones is now the lower link 203 because the metric is 25 okay so remember initially from this point of view this router was preferring up here but because we have set the metric to be lower here routers within the peer trend the peer uh, AS is going to traverse this lower path now because the med has effect within that neighboring peer AS so if we actually trace to this, if we trace to all the ones, we're going to take the lower path now. You see that? So we're going 203001, 5, and then 5001. So we're now going down the way. Okay. Now, 
let's have a look from the point of view of here. Now, we've set the med to be 25 here, 50 here, and 100 here. So, from this point of view, it was favoured to go this way, but this one's got the highest med. What's it going to do? The med is going to have no effect here, so it's still going to go this path anyway. So, let's have a look at that. Okay, so let's see. Show IP BGP. And from the point of view of that, it's still where the wee arrow is there. It's still going through the 55 network. Sorry, the 55 AS. So the med is having no effect on that router. So the med is affecting this one because the med is going to here and it's making a decision within the local peer AS. But the AS here, it's still staying the same. So let's just do our trace to that. I'm going to go protocol and uh, and it's going to be the exact same still going through AS55 the bottom link even though the med from this point of view show IP BGP not rather show IP BGP the med to that link from this point of view is 100 so it doesn't actually have effect here whereas AS path prepending would if we had AS path prepending to prefer this path this middle route from this point of view would now be preferred but the med is only affecting up to this link up to this AS here and this AS but it's not comparing AS's you see that? The AS are not being compared so what I'm going to do just now is let's see how we can actually artificially change this up a little bit so where are we going? what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to shut down the link between um, gig 02 and between 7 and 6 because this is the preferred path so let's see this we'll do conf t and we'll do int gig gig 02 shut this down pull you down clear ip bgp soft and we'll do our show ip bgp so what's the route now the best path is the top route, if you notice that. So, from this point of view, the med is 25 here and 50 here. So this router is now preferring the lower path, you see that? But, because the med is not having an effect here, this router is still preferring the top path. However, this is where it gets interesting, right? When it, once it goes to the top path, it's not going to prefer this link because it's not the med is not affecting it. It's just going to go up here. But once it gets into the PRAS, where is it going to go? Is it going to go this way, the top link, or go the bottom link? It's actually going to go the bottom link. So the med is having no effect from this point of view. It's going to pick the top link, even though the middle link is preferred from the med's point of view. It goes up here. But once it's into the PRAS, it is now affected by the med. So once the packet gets in here, it's going, oh, the preferred path is down here. So it's going down here and here. So the path we're actually going to trace is here to here. And it's going to exit from here. So the exit point from the point of view of the this ISP is still going to be here once it's coming through this ISP. So it's going to exit this way still. But the way it gets to that ISP is completely unaffected by the med so it can still get this way or this way the med doesn't change it so it still enters the isp this way but the way it's going to exit the the, the med it's going to exit the med always from this point of view it's going to exit the isp from this point of view okay so let's trace that now so let's trace and we'll do trace and we'll do all the ones and all the sixes. So let's see the path we're going to do. Do you know what? We might still not have the path because we need to clear that actually. Clear IP. Oh, clear IP BGP. <laughs> My typing's so bad. Okay. Let's just see if we can get that going. And we'll do a ping. Oh. 
wrong button now. Ping. Yes, ingress and. Okay, so that's fine. So let's see the path now. I'm going to trace to all the ones. Okay, so let's look at this path now. So like I say, we're actually going from the point of view of router 7 here, we're going this way, this way, this way, and we can see that with the actual numbers we're going. We're going 33101.1, .1, which is up here. We're then going to 204.002, which is down to here. We're now going 5332.1, so we're exiting from this ISP, this link still, okay? So we couldn't affect the way the traffic entered the ISP the way we could with AS path, but the way it's going to exit that ISP is always going to be through this link once it gets in here. See that? Okay, so that